everybody, my name is Richard, I'm a garden designer and this is a little garden we've just finished a day or two ago, we just put the final touches. So I thought I'd do a little video just to give you a few ideas at home about how to transform a fairly small mid-terrace little back garden, really uninspiring when we got here and now it's a beautiful little living area. So as you can see we've got the patio at the back there, with the raised beds, path coming through and a bit of a um, eating area up here. Now what we've aimed to do is we've aimed to have lots of winter interest so it looks lovely the whole year through. So we've got some lots of shrubs here and the other thing I should say it's quite a shady area as well so these are all shade lovely. So this is a Daphne Oreo Marginata which will give absolutely lovely scent through the winter um, and then we've got a little Acer here, Acer Viridis Dissectum and then all underplanted we've got some interest it's going to hopefully well will last all through the winter so we've got the Ophia Pogan at the back there to com to contrast with the greens of this color so the darks and the greens here and we've got some heuchera these are glitter these are called and this is a this is a really interesting and beautiful fern called Polystichum David Howard absolutely beautiful and they'll they'll bulk up you can see the, the gorgeous foliage on there Got some hostas at the back again to brighten the uh, of the green of the fence, and we've got some bleeding hearts. These are actually white ones. These are Dicentra alba, and we've got a, uh, a Dryopteris crisper white side. Again, that should fill out here. And coming up to the next level, again we've we've got some ferns, not ferns. Sorry. We've got some shrubs through the back. So we've got a Skimmia Q green here, which will be a lovely scented plant for the winter. We've got a couple of hydrangea, including one in a in a pot here, and then coming through, we've got we've got Sarka Cocker. This is a sweet box, a uh, Sarka Cocker Confusion, lovely dark green, and then in the corner here, we've got uh, we've got a nice box here. This is a, a pyramid. These are, we've got one over the other side as well there to give it a bit of symmetry and structure. We've aimed for a bit of symmetry, but not too much, um, more balance and direct symmetry. Um, we've got lovely Tiarellas here, again, wonderful foliage colour. Um, and the, the lovely bright Hakonecloa aurea here. And we've actually put these, we've actually added these through. And there's, there's another one, there's another one back here. So this will actually blend right through the garden. And we've got, and here, if you have a look at this, Rosie. So this is an Astilby Sprite that gives really lovely... Uh, dark green foliage and actually has these white flowers coming up through here and these are all um, really nice shade plants. This is an Astrantia, again a shade plant. So all these plants here are designed to to look well um, in the shade. Coming through here we've got we've got a honeysuckle at the back here. We've got a couple of black eyed Susans just for a bit of annual interest and they should still have a bit of time to come through. And then here we've got plum pudding, heuchera plum pudding here um, which are really nice there got a couple more ferns coming through we've got a couple more still be again here we've got the strand here and the hydrangeas these are lyriops lyriop muscari so this is quite a dry area we've got uh, we've got a big um, weeping um, hazel here and we've got the uh, conifer here so it's quite a dry area so these are all designed for dry shade sarka cock is great for dry shade leo muscari got another skimmer here um, these, these usually like a bit more um, damp but we can be fine we can water these brinera mr dawson here and then coming through here again this is called uh, this is an ethereum frazella and we've got the tom thumb fuchsia this this area here, this area here down here, this was for the client to have a bit of um, bit of vegetables and a, a bit of herbs there. A little patch of grass, which was a client request, which was lovely. And a couple of box here. And this is Pakistandra green carpet, which will, will come up and, and form a bit of a, uh, a bit of ground cover there. And then we've got some Dicentra, and these are the, the typical red um, bleeding hearts. So there we go, um, that is how to transform a small little garden into something that's really quite, quite special that uh, the client was really happy with. 
So hope that's helped for anyone interested in doing their own thing at home.